Hey what's up guys, my name is Steven and welcome to another video tutorial series on the popular PHP framework CodeIgniter. What I'll be showing you in this video series, in this video series, is uh, I'll be building a registration login um, system in PHP with CodeIgniter uh, where you'll be able to log in with an email and password um, you'll, which will send you to a members only restricted access page um, which you can only access if you've previously logged in. Um, you'll be able to log out from there um, and in addition you'll be able to sign up using go, clicking on the sign up page from clicking on the sign up page um, from there you'll enter your email address and your password twice just to confirm your password which will send you an email you'll click a link that you'll receive in the email it'll sign you up log you in instantly and from there you'll be a registered user and you can log in at any, at any time and have access to the members only page um, this is a very popular model for most websites today um, so I I find I think that this material would be extremely useful if you're using CodeIgniter and you're not sure how to do this yet. Um, we'll be talking. We'll be using uh, the database class. We'll be using sessions. We'll be using uh, the email class, which I'm not sure. Yeah, I have showed it to you before, but um, maybe in a more applicable applicable way. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get started right away then. In this in this video tutorial tutorial series I won't be um, installing CodeIgniter from scratch instead I'll just uh, I have this pre-installed version I've put it in the folder called two underscore user underscore site um, which is the title of this project I guess um, okay and the first thing that I want to do actually is uh, we'll just exit this here is install this mod rewrite functionality so that I can access my, so that my URLs are cleaner in order to do this though, they've actually changed um, changed where the wiki is and everything. So if I actually want to to do this, all I have to do is type in CodeIgniter on Google. Click on the wiki page right here. And that'll take you to a GitHub wiki. Um, and if you, if you go to the actual pages, scroll all the way down to M, and see mod rewrite right here. Okay, and uh, this is a five-step five-step process to installing this uh, this mod rewrite module. Um, but I can do it in I can show you how to do it in two steps if you're if you're doing it on a web server or you know whatever. So what you'll do is you'll just copy all of this code in in this block here in the number one create your .ht access file. And what we'll do actually is in the root directory of uh, of the installation of CodeIgniter on our system, whether it's on a web server or on your are on a local server, what you'll do is you'll just create a new file, call it .htaccess, and you'll see that'll be right beside index.php and license.txt. Open that up, and there you'll just paste the code that you copied from the website. And lastly, if this isn't in the root directory of your web server, um, for me it's actually in a folder called tutorials slash um, to underscore user underscore site and then you follow that by a slash because that's where the index.ht access file will be or the installation of CodeIgniter will be. So for me um, just tutorials and to underscore user underscore site I'll save this and then we can test it out and see if it works. So um, we know that in CodeIgniter the, the default controller set up right, right when you uh, download the the zip file from the website is called a, the, is the welcome controller, right? So I'll open that up, and you can see that the welcome controller, the first, the index function of that, just loads the welcome welcome message view. So in this case, if I if I go and type in welcome, it should redirect me. Okay, perfect. And this is exactly what we're aiming for. So we can have in a, we can have our welcome and then slash index, and then third would be any parameters that we're actually passing in. And the, these two first two folders are the two folders that I actually specified in my .ht access file, slash tutorials and slash two underscore user underscore site. And that's right there. And then here's my actual, in, um, here's my actual installation. And if you're not 100% sure why, I'm pretty sure there's a better explanation in my previous tutorial series. So go and check that out if you're finding difficulty here. Um, so index index yeah <laughs> okay cool the next thing that I want to do 
right off the hop is uh, create a database. Now I have one set up here. Um, it's called user, just user tutorial or whatever. So what I can do is I'll create two uh, two databases right away. One called users with three fields. Okay, it's going to make me log in again. User tutorial. Okay, I have my password saved. Um, yours will be very similar, I think. Uh, whether you actually have a, a hosted MySQL server or just a local one. So I'll create a, ta a new table called users with three fields because this is just going to be very simple. First one will have, yeah, will be called, first field will be ID, it'll be an integer. Um, under extra we're going to auto increment it and set it as the primary key. Um, next will be email for our chart and just set these to 255. That's the max that a chart can be and you know I'd rather not really worry too much about this stuff. Um, and the second would be password. Again, we can just set this to 255. We'll do all the restricting with our code and just leave this open. Um, and we'll save this. And next, we're going to create another one and call it temp underscore users. And this one will also have three, three fields. The first will also be ID. It'll be an integer. We're going to auto increment that and set it as the primary key. And then we'll have a, an email address stored here. This will be 255 characters. And this will have a key. And that will also be 255 characters. We'll save this. If you're not 100% sure what this is for, just, uh, just do it. And we'll use it later. And it'll make full sense once we're finished. OK, so now we have our mod rewrite installed. We have a database set up that we're going to be using. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's where I'll end this video. In the next video, we'll actually start building out the login view with the form helper. Um, and yeah, I think that's where we'll leave that one. So thanks for watching.